So we're back from Doncaster Festival of Model Railway Exhibition 2023. I've spent quite a lot of money here just on little bits and bobs. I tried to avoid locomotives and some of the more expensive things, but I still managed to spend quite a bit just on little bits and details, Skytrek, uh, some grass, uh, there's a couple of second-hand wagons there, um, which are quite nicely made and I can probably weather up, brushes, uh, we're still wagon works, bits and bobs, so um, that will keep me busy for a while. Right, well, quite a lot of progress has been made since you uh, last saw. I have actually managed to ballast all this uh, track, every bit of it. Um, which was not my favourite job at all, but it's all done now, it is all glued down and the last bit is just setting under the bridge. I used quite a lot of ballast, um, it's very fine grade, I think it might be N-gauge actually. It took about three bags of this, um, which is the B80 medium buff. I went for a, a lighter, more pleasant colour than I used previously because I was never happy with my previous layout. It looked a bit dark and dull and dingy so I went for a nice pastel -y shade might not be completely realistic but I think it looks more pleasant what I tend to do with ballasting is put it all down let it sit for at least a week and get it where you want it and then only fix it down when you're happy that it's, uh, that it's all looking good or as good as possible um, and also I've done some grassing, some static grassing. I've done a little bit before, but I'm just building this up and up and up. Uh, different shades. Uh, I've got my 6mm uh, right around the edge. Um, so it's thinner where the side of the track is. And then it sort of gets uh, lighter and longer. And then some bits of dead grass on the top. Most of that is WWS. And that's just layered up, fixed in place with hairspray. I know you can get the expensive stuff, layering spray, but I find that a decent hairspray works as well, although it does smell. Quite nice, but a bit sickly after a while. Get to open the windows. So I've made a very low relief bridge, over bridge, out of balsa wood and emb embossed um, brick paper. Um, it's not finished yet, it's basically okay, um, but it is actually flat, as you can see. Um, I do need to build up some of this area, cover it with some grass and things just to hide it, because it's um, a strange gap there, I don't like that. So I'll, I'll get that covered up with trees and bushes. Um, there's my Daypol Pannier. Uh, so the ballasting was okay, the only bit... I should have moved that signal box before I did the round the back, so it's a bit rough around there, but you're not going to see that too much. So there's some wagons there at the back. Um, some of these are second-hand ones. Uh, there's a couple of wagons uh, which I bought at Doncaster, which you saw at the opening. Um, just tittled them up, up a little bit. There's a nice fish van there as well. Somebody's made the, a good job of them. Um, and the painting and transfers and everything. I've just painted the wheels and the buffer heads and things because I don't like silver buffer heads. Uh, one of other th other things I bought at Doncaster was some of these crates and barrels. They're from Skytrek. Treks. Um, what else have we got? Oh, there's a few Model U figures appeared. Model U figures, um, which I bought. They were actually seconds. Some of these. Um, one guy had a missing arm, but it didn't matter because he went in a pannier tank and you can't tell. Uh, so there's a few little dustbins, seats, that water crane I got second hand from rails. And I've also been fitting lights and making that signal work. So when the lights are off, it's light at the moment, but um, you can see there's a light in that signal box. There's the light on the signal, and that operates with a little switch down here. Uh, if I can do this whilst I'm on camera, there you go, that's a day pole, uh, Great Western O-gauge signal, and it's quite, uh, it's got good play value, 
that one. Uh, really nice, I like that. I wish I could have another one, but I haven't really got realistically room to have another signal. Um, there's a few um, little, there's another model you figure there. And the signalman looking at the cat. There's a few little cats on this layout. That's a female tabby cat called Collet. White metal. That's the local Tom cat from one of the local houses, neighbouring houses, and that's called Hawksworth. I've also finished the um, sort of overgrown um, cattle dock. That's sort of scratch built. I've got a couple of slaters. Um, gates here to finish it off. That one doesn't match but it looks like it's fallen down and been replaced. There's also lights in that station big building there. Not in every window. I know there's light bleed there. I will do something about that. Probably need a little um, ledge, a little footstep there just to cover that up. Um, there's, a, there's, there's actually four cats in total. There's those two. There's another one on top of the roof there. Um, I don't know how he got up there, but he's he's having fun. There's plenty of food around the station. The passengers like to feed them. Um, and there's another one at the end of the platform there. That's Dean, little black and white cat. The top one, that one. His name's Churchwood. You can see the theme I've gone for there. I started roughly painting a bit of green paint as, to represent bushes and things on the back scene, which is nowhere near finished. I'm going to add to that and put some proper foliage over the top of it so that'll improve. Little photo back scene I cut off um, an old photo back scene which I wasn't going to use properly. Um, so just roughly cut it out and stuck it on the back there to make it look like a hedge or some sort of background scenery. But again, that'll get covered up with trees and proper foliage. There's little detail matter, matters, um, non-working ground signals are dotted around. There's one there, another one there to come out of the head shunt, and one for coming out of that siding. We've got those nice little planters as well, they're uh, sky tracked. A couple of those. And I've just been weathering, I've weathered the platform actually, uh, and also this edge, this embossed paper to make it look a bit more mucky because it was quite shiny and bright before. And there's a low reef building there on the end, I don't know whether I showed you that last time. That just fills that corner nicely. That's probably where the Hawksworth lives, we match to that house there. There's still loads of jobs to do and lots of details to go on this layout. I do need to get some sort of fence down here. Say that some trees need to go in there and bushes and things. Uh, I'd like a yard crane as well down there. Down the bottom side behind the cattle dock. I should really have made those lights work, the lamps work. I might look, see if I can get some of those at a later date which I can plug in and add a li little bit more light to the scene. Yeah, little things like, I mean, I need another gas lamp or something on here for the cattle dock. And troughs need to go in. Maybe some animals. Although it doesn't look like it's been regularly used. And of course I need some passengers as well, because I've only got station staff at the moment. Plenty of station staff, no customers. So I think we should probably have a look at some of the engines that run on Brockwell. Here's a Daypole 14XX, or it's actually a 48er. Um, this has been recently renumbered um, to make it suitable for running on my auto coach because it was a 58XX, which weren't auto fitted, and I've weathered that. And that's in the Great Western livery uh, with the full Great Western wording. Got Modelu. Figures in, or model U figures in. I keep saying model U, 
Model U figures. And also their lamps. And you can see it parked next to Collet the Cat, quite appropriately. And here's 5700, it's a 57XX pannier tank with matching lettering, um, which is also from Daypol. And again, it's got the Model U figures and a Model U lamp on the front in red. That's the red casing of the Great Western. And here is uh, one which I repainted, uh, which is one of the latest style Great Western pannier tanks built during the war, hence its wartime black livery. Uh, it was a BR liveried one, which I just put Fox transfers on, Model U figures and lamps. And the usual shirt looks a little bit different to the usual Great Western green. It's also got um, details on the back there, buckets and uh, some of the fire, ir fire irons. And that's uh, 3686. I also have this small prairie tank of the 45XX variety with shirt button and that's a Lionheart model and that's uh, all metal body and that's uh, probably my favourite locomotive on this layout. And as I hinted at in one of my previous videos, at the other side of the room I'm not doing Great Western or Steam, I'm actually doing diesel which is on a separate section and it's very much in the planning stage at the moment but I'll show you quickly. Um, this is going to be a diesel depot at this side and I built the depot um, but I'm still waiting for tracks and things to put down so this is going to be the opposite scale for my Great Western line. This is going to be modern or 1990s at least so um, there's a bit of interest for my uh, diesel fans as well as steam. So there's a few locomotives there which uh, we'll look at later on. Although I have done that wagon with the Brockwell Graffiti on which I'm quite proud of. That's going to be sitting on the layout somewhere, probably disused. But I'm still building, I'm still collecting little bits and bobs for this layout so I'm not really it's taking quite a while to get all the stuff because it's uh, some of the stuff's quite expensive. Even these cars are not cheap. Um, so anyway, you'll see this layout develop in the next couple of years hopefully. But the priority has got to be to get this working properly. Although it works fairly well at the moment, the tracks need cleaning. Uh, I just need to finish off a lot of the details on here. Um, I need to put some edging on, proper edging on, because this is not this is a bit broken in places. And I used to have a controller on the edge, and I've covered that up and things. So this needs redoing. Um, so it's it's getting there. Um, so I should have the best of both worlds uh, when I've done. Um, a modern diesel depot and this uh, Great Western and BR period steam layout. It's just slow progress because of, uh, well, just time really. Time I've got to spend on it. So I hope that was an interesting update. Um, I'll see you next time on Brockwell Lane. Please like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.